Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Today I want to do a real quick recap on something I said last week in my video. Last week's video, if you remember, was about the Harbor Freight Labor Day sale. And in that sale video, I talked about this thing here. This is their folding clamping workbench or workstation or something. I got two of them here, as you can see. And in that video, I basically said that they weren't the greatest workstations in the world, and they're not. It's, you know, it's kind of flimsy and floppy. It's kind of not made out of the greatest materials. I mean, it would work in a pinch. I've painted on it, as you can see. Mine's been used. But they have a trick up their sleeve that I think at their price point, these things, MSRP, right now I went and looked, they're $19.99 on their website right now, which is pretty darn inexpensive um, for what it is and they have a very good use case for me and I think a lot of others are going to be like me and have this use case and what it is is if you have a bunch of bench top tools like this bench grinder here uh, and you don't have a place to keep them so you store them on a shelf you put them under the bench whatever and then when you want to go use them you want to put them up on a bench and there's crap all over the bench because we all know we always have stuff on our benches so you don't have a place to use it these things actually work out very well for this I'm going to show you. For many years, I used my little portable joiner on this before I got my aircraft carrier over there in the other room. Uh, we're actually in the dungeon today. Uh, this is exactly where my table saw used to be if you watch some of my older videos. So let me bring in one of these portable tools and show you how I use it. <clears throat> now this is a bench top joiner. It's a six inch joiner by about 26 inches long, I think it is. And it's pretty easy to slide in here. As you can see, I have this on a piece of two by 12. The two by 12 has a cleat in the bottom that goes right into the clamping part of the tool. You know, think uh, back in the days, this is a knockoff of the old Black & Decker workmates. Um, it's not the greatest workmate in the world. It's not even close, but it works very well as a portable tool stand for these bench top tools. I have a scroll saw over there. I have a 12 inch disc sander. I have this uh, 8 inch uh, grinder that I keep right here next to my lathe. It has the Wolverine system attached to a uh, little MDF table I made and it just stays there. Now th that one stays there but it is something that I can move if I have a second tool I want to bring in. Let's say I'm using this joiner move this joiner, take that grinder off, put another tool on there. So that's the whole trick to this thing guys. This is a very easy little hack for these little tools. I would not go out and buy this tool for it to be the workstation table stand that they call it. But I would use it to put tools like this on to use. Now my floor is not uh, level here, that's why it's doing this. But you know, find a level spot on your floor, put your tool on there, Use it when you're done, put the tool back on the shelf, and then put the little stand in the corner, and your space is free again. You don't have to worry about your bench. Everything is good. I hope that makes sense. I hope it clears up what I said last week. If you like these kind of videos, please let me know. Hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And as always, have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.